In about five years, somebody asked me to be on a team. I said, okay. Well, rut row, someone looked at my Facebook page and decided that my gifts were didn't mesh. I didn't know what they had already removed me from the team prior to me meeting with them. But you know, all things happen for a reason, right? All things happen for a reason. So I figured, okay, I probably won't be on a team anymore, and that's okay. I'm okay with it. A few months ago, a gentleman that I know very well asked me to be on his team. I went, I don't think you realize what you're asking me. And I use God, universe, and spirit interchangeably. The acronym is GUS. It's not really too spiritual or sacred, so I don't say GUS tells me. Like it's a guy named Gus. And so God kind of said, so I prayed about it, meditated a bit about it for about a week, week and a half. And I said, okay, I'll be on the team. And God said, this is good, but it's probably not going to end the way you think it's going to end. So we got into the team formation. We're halfway through the team formation, right? And I'm like, I'm on the team. Well, ruh -ro, <laughs> somebody went to a, man, a priest, and the priest went to the bishop. And long story short, the bishop removed me from the team. But here's the great thing about this. It's okay. You know, it's like that George Harrison. Anybody big fans of George Harrison? I love George Harrison. Mm -hmm. yeah, he had a great album, All Things Must Pass, right? I think it was an album. I know it was a song. Uh, I was able to send two letters to the bishop describing what the mediums and the clairvoyance do today, different from what was in the Old Testament. Have you ever sat down and read the Old Testament? We think Friday the 13th and Halloween is bloody. Go back and read the Old Testament. They're slaughtering everything that moved. I mean everything. I mean, excuse my language, God was pretty pissed off back then. I mean, I mean, they're just killing everything. And so the mediums of that day aren't the mediums of today. Nobody, that I, every medium I know, starting with Annette, who's the best medium I've ever met, quite honestly, um, I haven't met a medium, and I know a lot of mediums, who have raised people from the dead that were of despicable or evil or dark nature. You know, we start with a prayer. And the great thing is, folks, I was able to share this with the bishop. By the way, this is going to be a real short talk um, because I like to do a lot of messages, so it'll be a real short talk. Plus, it leaves more, money for, it leaves more time for collecting money. That's really important. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You can tell I'm still Catholic. <laughs> Gotta raise money. We need a statue for God's sakes. Uh, so why am I still Catholic? I asked. I said that to Annette, and who else was in the back room? Macrina. Yeah, Macrina. Yeah. How do you pronounce your first name? Macrina. It's not Macarena. No. <laughs> that was so freaking cool. If it was, that would be awesome. Beautiful name, Macrina. Thank you. A little bit more beautiful than Jerry. Um, so I told Annette and Macrina, this is going to be the time of my talk. Why am I still Catholic? And Annette said, yeah, we've been wondering that for a long time, Jerry. We've moved on, but you're still there. I'm still there because Spirit tells me, don't change lanes yet. You know, don't change lanes. Uh, years ago, I was seriously concerned. Uh, if I ever changed, it'd be here, right? to be a spiritualist, and the spirit kept saying, not yet, not yet. So when we talk about changing lanes, I think we learn what we're supposed to learn, and then we change lanes, you know, and then we go into something else. So I look on Facebook, right, and, you know, of all the political posts, I swear, I yearn for the days of the cat videos. I really do. <laughs> I just pray for the cat videos. I'm dark of political stuff. Uh, and... I look at I look at tarot cards, which I don't do. Past life regressions, which I believe in, but I just don't do. The Spirit said, "That's okay. Don't get distracted." By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I have extreme ADD, and I'm also OCD. So you, you see me looking up. I'm looking at the clock. Um, so somebody did post on Facebook a long time ago. You'll look back on things. You'll say, "Okay, so that's why that had to happen." So I wasn't meant to be on this team, but other people were, right? And so, it's okay. Do I agree with everything the Catholic Church does or says? No. But no religion is like that. No religion is perfect. It draws me closer to God. I'm a big Jesus fan. Uh, I'm also a big Archangel fan. I'm a big Masters fan. I'm a big uh, you know, Buddha fan.
fan? <clears throat> I'm just a fan, right? Uh, I think that's all I've got to say. Holy cow. You want me to talk more? Yeah, I've got some new knock-knock jokes that are awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, jokes. But, but the thing is, uh, somebody said, and I've repeated this a few times, mission in life is discovering your gifts. Purpose in life is using those gifts. And it's time for everybody to use those gifts. You may be the only face of metaphysical gifts. All metaphysical means is beyond physical, right? Psychic, beyond physical. Mediumship, beyond physical. Clairvoyance, beyond physical. Everything beyond your five senses. And we're going to talk about... I'm sorry. I was in sales, in case you can't tell. By the way, Andrea made me Scottish. She put Mac Daniel, M-A-C. And quite honestly, I am Scottish. Even though I was born on St. Patrick's Day. We'll talk about that later, Andrea. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> But discover your gifts. Keep coming here. I got it. How many people are in a circle of some type? Oh, man, they're just great. That's why I discovered my gifts. I've said this before. First time, so here's, now I'm very, very analytical, very conservative. Well, I used to be. Not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. Still analytical, not, not conservative. I don't know what I am. You know, it's the label, right? It's just labels. You know, um, so the first time Mary and I go to Annette invites us to the circle. Emilio, Emilio goes into a trans mediumship. Rut row. Nobody warned us about that. And Mary and I are going, what the? I'm going to go say this. Just fill in the blank. Uh, and he takes on Serafina. And I go home and I go, Mary, that was some freaky fill in the blank. But I came every week, four and a half years, every week attending that circle. That's where I learned about energy. That's where I learned about my gifts. That's where I learned about, uh, that's when I came to the classes here, and wherever Jeannie was, Jeannie was, Jean, Jean. Great David Boy song. Jean, Jean. Mm -hmm. Thanks for nodding your head. Appreciate it. Uh, but get into a circle. Attend these classes. I attended all the classes. I learned so much. And uh, stay in your lane. Learn as much as you can. And then God, Spirit, and Universe say, okay, it's time to change lines. And by the way, Spirit gave me this the other day. Uh, if you find yourself swimming in negativity, change lines. You don't need to swim in negativity. You don't need to take on other people's issues. And uh, quite honestly, I know what I'm talking about. I grew up with addiction. About 40% of my family are addicts, recovering. Uh, I go to an AA meeting every week, support one. I go to an Ananda. Ananda which is for the families with people who have uh, not alcohol, but you know, drugs. And so I'm very familiar with addiction, unfortunately. <coughs> That's what part of my purpose is, is to help people who have, who have these addictions, to help them know that there's people on the other side, there's beings on the other side that can help them. Uh, so, Discover your mission and purpose in life. It's there. Meditate if you can take five minutes a day. I meditate when I drive. I don't close my eyes. <laughs> you know, with my ADD, I can't close, you know, I miss a turn. But I meditate on the way here, and I said, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. You know, and Spirit said, here's what you need to talk about. You know, I know Joyce Sager, who I admire very much, gets up here and rarely looks at notes. I got to look at notes. <coughs> You know, I'm anxious to give messages as much as I can. Uh, come back and join. Look, I'm, I'm pitching. I'm pitching here. And that's going, yeah, just shut up. Um, come back and join us for refreshments afterwards. By the way, did I, one last, did I mention this book is on sale for $10? <laughs> so, well, aren't you in the process of writing another book? I am. Yeah. I am in the process of writing another book. Thank you very much. That'll kill five minutes. Uh, so, it takes me about two, two and a half years to write a book. I can never, how many people have ever here have written a book? Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do we get rich writing a book? No. They're not John Grisham or you know, Teresa Caputo or Tyler Henry who have written best-selling books or um, James Von Prague. Prague, is that who pronounces his life? He's a very tough guy. Or Mark Anthony. Or Mark Anthony? He's a bit quirky. Oh, I'm sorry, this is being recorded. 
Oh, Mark, we love you. But you are a bit cool. What's on? I'm, I'm going to share this video. I'm going to share it to all my Catholic friends. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm too low. Yeah. No, I got a lot. But so I was in the hospital for eight months, right? And I figured I'll write about my experience in the hospital. And Spirit said, no, nah, not yet. Not yet. Because quite honestly, I was in a coma for a while, so I can't remember everything. Mary will mention something that happened. I'll go, she goes, you remember that? And I go, no, I, I don't remember that at all. So I'm writing a book on meditations that Spirit gives me. The Spirit will give me a line, and I'll just <laughs> fill in the rest, right? Um, so that's probably next fall, because it takes me two and a half years to write a book. So, and yes, it'll be, uh, yes, I'll come here and pitch it, of course. Every day of the time I get a chance to, because Jerry needs a new pair of Skechers really bad. <laughs> so contribute to my Skecher phone. Uh, but in all seriousness, keep coming back here, keep learning. It's, you can be in other religions, it's okay, but come, come here and, and, and and join this church if you get a chance. It's just not my time yet, you know. But join this church, grow this church, discover your gifts, use them to help people. Uh, I don't know many mediums that do this. Well, I know some that do it for a living. I can tell you they're not rich. Nobody does this for money. I do it to pay bills. I do it because it costs a lot, doesn't it, to self-publish a book. It costs thousands of dollars. Average price for self-publishing a book is about seven grand. Seven thousand dollars. How many pairs of Skechers, Alan, I could buy with seven thousand um, dollars? That's all I got to say. Thank you. God bless. Look forward to giving messages. Thank you for being here.